Uncrip the hole sack loops from the locking carabiner and crimp the bomb shelter into the anchor. Make sure the black riser straps are toward the wall and the colored risers are away from the wall. Pull the hole sack downwards of the bomb shelter, making sure not to drop the sack and allowing the ledge to unroll and hang from the risers. Unfold the ledge lengthwise and assemble the two long poles on either side. Verify that the abrasion guards are wall side and that the risers are free of tangles. Position the spreader bar and fitting on the wall side pole. Pull the long poles away from each other and snap the other end of the spreader bar in place on the other long pole. Make sure the spreader bar is attached on the same side of the pole junction on both sides of the ledge. Assemble the end poles by inserting the shock corded end into its fitting first. Then stretch the bed and snap the end pole into the other corner fitting. Snug the bed tensioners down on the first end, but do not tighten them all the way. Once the other end pole is in place, you can tighten the bed tensioners evenly to get the bed taut and centered on the frame. To finish, adjust the riser buckles so they are tensioned evenly and the ledge is level. Clip the fly and its stuff sack with the opening facing down. Clip your bomb shelter to the aluminium clipping plate that is exposed at the opening of the stuff sack. Leave the fly in its stuff sack and assemble the ledge. If the weather is nice, you can leave the system in this configuration, with the fly ready for quick deployment if the weather turns. To deploy the fly, open the stuff sack and let the fly fall down into position. You may have to adjust the height of your ledge to fit the fly. Make sure the corner reinforcements are properly located over the corners of the portal ledge and that the fly scuff guard is between the ledge frame and the wall. While sitting on the ledge with the fly in place, assemble the optional storm pole. Insert one end of the pole into the pocket on the bottom of the wall side corner. Bend the pole around the outside of the risers and insert the pole on the other wall side corner. Finish by attaching the pole on the front of the fly.
Buckle the compression straps underneath and cinch if the weather is really nasty. Packing the ledger away properly is key for easy deployment later, so that when you gotta pull it out again, the master point is right at the top of the stuff bag the ledge resides in. And then it can be clipped directly to the master point anchor. And having carefully wrapped it up, all the riser straps will be tangle free and the setup will be a breeze. Release the bed tensioners. Pop the end poles out of the open end fittings, then pull them out the other side and fold them into the bed parallel to the long poles. Remove the spreader bar and tuck it into the bed. Pull the long poles apart and fold the ledge in half. Roll the ledge upward in the riser straps, leaving the locking carabiner about a foot past the end of the roll. Slide the ledge into its bag, leaving the locking carabiner at the top. Clip the carabiner into both of the sacks hole loop. If you want to haul, don't forget to leave the master point of the portal ledge clipped in the carabiner as well as a backup. 